Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And in this video, I want to educate the viewers on the importance of talking and singing and actually just being present in your garden. Let me show you um, the importance of all of these things and how it actually makes a difference for your plant's health um, and success in your garden. Come and follow me. So the first thing I want to share here is I've got this product called Ivory Organics. It's a three-in-one tree guard paint and it says just add water to natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents. And if you take a look, this here is one of our reed avocado trees. You can see it's coated with the Ivory Organics white tree guard paint. It also comes in brown and green. Let me show you a few other trees here in the garden. So, so here I'm next to our Oro Blanco grapefruit. This is actually the white grapefruit variety. We're in the month of July and you can see the size of the fruit, but these when they're done should each individually be about this large. And you can see that there's actually a few more here in the back as well. So there's about a half a dozen. This is um, the first year that it's been installed here in the garden. Let me show you a few more plants actually before we get started. Behind me here is my ice cream banana plant. It's supposed to grow, it seems like it's about 20 feet tall. Take a look at how high that goes. But this here is the ice cream banana variety, so you can actually see if you introduce it into your garden. We're here in Los Angeles, so it does quite well here in Southern California. But you can see how fast they grow. Once the parent plant actually fruits, which it should be going into fruit production this summer, then these pups will replace the parent plant, and then these will um, produce the bananas for next year. Let me show you some more. So here we are now alongside one of our fig trees in the garden and take a look at all of these figs. You can notice that for every leaf there's a fruit, every leaf of fruit, every leaf of fruit. This here is a green variety of fig that we've been growing in the family for almost three decades now simply from cuttings and we did a video on that if you want to see how to actually propagate figs. Let me show you a couple more things, follow me. Now check out these early grow varieties. Have you ever seen tomatoes looking this good? Take a look at all of those. This is just one cluster of flowers that developed into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's still trying to make even a ninth fruit down here. Um, and you can notice this clusters throughout and on both sides, and we've grown these vertically with just two stems. Come on. And get me with the red behind me. Yes. So you've just taken a tour of the garden and we are now going to discuss the importance of actually being in your garden, whether you're actually examining your plants for pests or you're actually fertilizing them or if you're watering them, um, whether you sing for them, whether you talk to them and simply breathing, simply being in your garden is actually helping your plants. So let me show you why and how. Take a look over here. This is actually, um, so this here is a, what the hell is this? So I prepared this to share with you the percentage of air and the different um, components that are actually in our air. The first one being carbon dioxide. This is the air that you actually um, produce when you exhale. And um, the percentage of carbon dioxide in the air is only 0.04%, which means it's less than a half of 1% or 400 parts per million are carbon dioxide or CO2. So it's surprisingly little, and this is one of the most important ingredients for plants to make its sugars. Oxygen only consists of 21% O2 for oxygen, and 78% is nitrogen or N. So you can see from this, um, from this sheet over here, that 78% or the majority of our air is actually nitrogen, but this is not nitrogen that is readily available to your plants. And there are some plants that actually know how to use the nitrogen in our air, but 
it's important to actually add nitrogen to the soil um, and we'll discuss that in another video. So I just want you to be aware that the majority of our air gases is nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and less than 1%, less than half of 1% carbon dioxide. Now let's talk about carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is CO2. So when you exhale, carbon dioxide is given off. And when you're in your garden, make sure that you water your plants as symbolized here by your H2O. Set that down. When you put those two together, it equals your your sugars, and that is C6H12O6, which is six carbons, twelve hydrogens, and six oxygens makes the molecular structure for sugar. So by adding the carbon dioxide and the water, it together makes sugars plus the oxygen that we so desperately depend upon. And so oxygen is actually produced by plants. So the carbon dioxide that we exhale added with water makes the sugars and the oxygen that, um, that we need to survive here on planet Earth. This here is actually another chart that I prepared which also summarizes the same thing over here. So we take a look. Six carbon dioxides plus six water molecules with the process of photosynthesis. Ah, I gotta repeat that six carbon dioxides plus six water molecules or H2O through the process of photosynthesis which is the solar energy process that plants un undergo to actually convert the carbon dioxide and waters into the glucose or the sugar molecules which is C6H12O6 plus six oxygens and you can actually calculate that the number of elements on this side will match the number of elements on this side as I'll show you real quick so you got six carbons plus there's two oxygens times six, so 12 oxygens. So if you take six carbons plus 12 oxygens plus six hydrogens, actually times two, so 12 hydrogens plus six more oxygens, the sum of all of that will equal the six carbons on this side, the 12 hydrogens, the six oxygens plus another 12 oxygens. So the sum of all the elements over here will match the sum of all the elements over there. And that's how we basically convert the carbon dioxide that you exhale simply again by being in your garden and just breathing out is helping your plants. Make sure you water your plants and your plants will make the sugars that they need to basically support their growth, their fruit production, um, and basically you know everything the plant needs to get through the year. And it also um, gives us the benefits of more oxygen in our air. So in conclusion, follow me. I might be repeating some of that. So in conclusion, we know the importance. And to answer your question, does actually talking to your plants, does actually singing for your plants, or as I like to believe, just simply being in your garden. Check on your plants, make sure that they're watered, make sure that there aren't pests that are taking over. Make sure that they're fertilized, try to see if there's any deficiencies in your plants. Just simply being out in your garden is actually helping your plants. So if there's a lesson to be shared today, it's simply get outside. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, be sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on all of our other Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Garden videos that we put out. Um, quite frequently. So again, thanks for following. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.